Three issue we're going to be discussing in this video uh, about uh, Tinubu buying a five point something billion naira yacht for Nigerians, and also Tinubu born his minister. Then the most important one, guys, recently, EFCC versus Yao Boys. So which are we going to handle? Let's start with uh, Tunubu with that massive yard is planning on buying. So budget was revealed recently, and uh, in that budget, the money that was appropriated, we saw five point something billion naira for student loan. Then again, we saw six point something billion for presidential cars. And again, we saw 5.1 billion for First Lady. We are not even talking about the House, uh, the House uh, Senate, Senate or Rep, the cars that they have bought already. Then now we are talking about presidential yacht. <laughs> and meanwhile, they have commenced sending civil servants the Point thirty five thousand naira per lady that have commenced. I have seen some few people who have received it. I can't testify to that clearly. So, the question that Nigerians are asking, Mr. President, do you think the most important thing for us now is to buy a presidential private yacht? Just in case you don't understand, ship, they want to buy this Lozero ship. For what? For Nigerians. They want to buy the Lozero ship. We are still trying to understand why they need that Lozero ship. That's the question. We are still trying to understand why now we are facing so many economic challenges. We are facing hunger here, hunger there. Why do we need? Luxurious ship. Five point something billion naira for it. Why? We all we all, we already have jet. This is all about enjoyment. Enjoyment upon enjoyment upon enjoyment upon enjoyment. Why do we need it? A lot of people have kicked kick against it. Me now I'm officially kicking against it. We honestly do not need it, Mr. President. Please. We honestly do not need it. This is not the time we need a presidential yacht. For what? We don't. You already budget 6.9 billion on cars. Ah. We do not need presidential yacht. The Senate already got cars for themselves. And the one they are giving to Nigerians is 35,000 uh, 35, naira. Mr. President, please, we think, I do not think we need a presidential yacht. For what? For what? Of what benefit? Of what benefit? Of what? Can someone come to enlighten the Nigerians? Of what benefit? Is it to is it to travel from here to London? Of what benefit do we need that for? Is it to uh, is it to I don't know uh, for tourism, for hiring the the uh, ship away, for entertaining guests? What what for? For sometimes going on holiday for the presidency. I don't understand, please. But one thing Tinubu did recently that almost, not almost, that really made me really, really proud because I'm going to say it anyway. One thing that, that he talked about recently was when he warned his minister. He said, perform. He said, perform. And you will keep your job. And if you don't know, if you do not perform, you will be sacked. There is no need for you to be afraid of your job if you are performing. 
And that is why we established Resort Delivery Unit. At the end of this retreat, they are going to sign a bond of understanding between you, the ministers, the permanent secretary, and myself. If you are performing, nothing to fear. the objective we review. If no performance, you leave us. I like people who are talking and do. You know what is talk and do? You talk and you do it. Because all those ministers said that yeah, we are all Nigerians and we do not take things seriously. We know many presidents have boasted before, but nothing happened. So, Mr. President, if you make one as an example to show that, yeah, you are absolutely serious, then we Nigerians will support you. Fully, wholeheartedly support you. But it's among the few presidents who have made bold statements. And I hope. I honestly hope he carried out his statement. I honestly hope. I honestly hope. I do not want to downplay. I do not want to criticize what he said. What he said, absolutely correct, and I support it. Well, well some people will say, oh, he's just boosting. That's what they talk, talk. No. I'm the kind of person that loves giving people chances. So please. Our president made such statement there, we should carry on and be like, yeah, he actually meant it and he's going to do it. And hopefully he's going to do it. Then, please, student loan, one point something billion. Uh, yacht, one point something billion. Abba, Abba, student loan for Nigeria, I mean, they reach how many billion, millions of students. Well, Abba, well, Let's uh, move past that and uh, let's talk about the EFCC case versus the old boys. So recently, the one state, EFCC, stormed a vicinity and arrested, I think, arrested 69 suspected froster. In Ilefe, they even announced it on their social media. They say, operative of the Bado Zone Command and the Economy and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, have arrested 69 suspected internet fraudster in Ocean State. They were arrested on Wednesday, November 1st, 23, at Ododua Estate area of Ileife, Ocean State, following our actionable intelligence. You people, they only lie for actionable intelligence. On their suspected Involvement in uh, fraudulent internet related activities, credible intelligence link, or do the wise there's activity of suspected internet fraudsters. <laughs> well, the posts have been deleted so far, though. You can see here. Uh, let me screenshot it, guys. They say these posts have been deleted. They have quickly deleted it. But internet doesn't forget. We get them. Um... So now they went on. This thing was lies. They went to arrest innocent people. This is what they always do. And first, I want to make it clear. I will never sympathize with any Yao boy. I will never, I pray they catch every Yao boy in Nigeria. That said, let me be honest. I am sympathizing with those innocent people. You cannot go about arresting everybody that holds an iPhone. Arresting everybody that holds a laptop. You can okay, is it okay? Why don't you simply ban phones? Say no more use of phones. Ban phones, stop importing phones. Don't allow us to import phones so that we can we can live in cave uh, in, in the cave era. You cannot be arresting everybody that has a phone and have a car. Is it that is the only the old people that are allowed to have money in this country that nobody will question? 
Is it only internet fraudster that makes uh, people rich in this country? How many people they make rich? It is the internet fraudster they easy. It is not like, say no 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 papa papa don't make money. Are you serious? You know many things online that get people money that are legit. You go around harassing people, arrest this. They just storm a school, arrest the student, and meanwhile, majority of those two uh, of those uh, 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 of the people they are arrested, all of them are innocent. All of them are innocent. They profile them because of cars. They profile them because of their phones. They profile them because of their laptop. They profile them because of the kind of house. Me, I'm living in my own uh, house here. Are you going to come because I have a phone and you tell me I'm an internet fraudster? Or because I have people who I call who call me from my side, white people who, who, who do interact with me. You automatically say I'm an internet fraudster? Because I have international phone calls in my, or, or on my phone, I'm an internet fraudster. If I have a picture of a white girl on my phone, I'm an internet fraudster. And nobody is addressing this matter. This was the matter that started Elsa's program, Elsa's uh, protest. Nobody is, is coming back again with EFCC. Nobody is addressing this matter now. And the crazy part about it is that those EFCC people, they were once Nigerian youths. They are still Nigerian youths. They were once never employed, seeking for unemployment. They were once in our shoes and they felt the heat. But now they are on the other side. They are the one oppressing us. That is the irony about this world. No justice. Everybody is just waiting for his own turn to start oppressing others. And you call yourself a Christian, you call yourself a Muslim, you call yourself a, a human being. They will never hear. As I speak to you now, one person, EFCC police, are busy harassing someone. Currently, they don't care. They forgot their roots. Ah, in this country. Eh? But guess what? The EFCC chairman, the new elected chairman, just recently uh, gave a directive. Is uh, according to the news, they said the chairman of EFCC uh, has directed that sting operation at nine time be stopped in all the commands of the FCT. So no more nine operations. No more nine operations. All night operations are hereby stopped. So if EFCC come your ass the night, they disturb. It's a criminal. It's a criminal. It's not EFCC. That person is a criminal. Criminal. And you know how they treat criminals? Eh? Because as a law-abiding Nigerian citizens, if a EFCC crime is someone that claims to be a EFCC, disobey directly from their command that come to your house at night. Just as a thief will come to your house, you are free to release dog on that person. And if you have a means to defend yourself, you are free to use that means to defend yourself. And if you buy himself, eh, you are not going to prison anywhere because that person is regarded as a criminal. It's the directive from the EFCC. No more operation at night. So if someone knock at your door, go, 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 go. what is that person? It's a criminal. And I, 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 we have a fundamental human right to defend ourselves against criminalities. So let it be that you know now. Any FCC person that comes to your place at night is regarded as a criminal. And treat that person as a criminal because they are going against their directives. And again, let me make this clear. To all the Yahoo boys, I hope all of you get arrested. Honestly, the real Yahoo boys and internet fraudsters and the ritualism, ritualist boys, I pray that you guys are caught, apprehended, and tried according to your offenses. That be said, bye.